Hey coach, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to share with you the 10 steps to grow your business to 100k or more per year. All right, so the first one, when I look at coaches that have reached the 10 the, the 100k mark per year is developing your leadership skills. Now, a lot of trainers believe that because they're a good trainer, because they're a good coach, that essentially they're going to be fantastic business owners. Now, in an ideal world, that would work, but the truth is that that's not the case, right? And Ben and myself, we've been in this industry for a very long time. We've worked with a lot of coaches. Um, some are fantastic at coaching, training clients, getting results, but in terms of managing the business, being a leader, um, they lack those skills. So the first one is you've got to develop your leadership skills in order to be able to get to the 100K or more mark per year. So you have to know how to lead your clients. You have to know how to market. You have to know how to sell. You have to know how to promote the business. You have to know how to present your business to prospects, to new customers, to um, potential business partners, right? So you have to be that leader in your business and you've got to be the person that is leading the business to the next level, right? In order to, to acquire new clients, get new customers, build business partnerships, build new relationships with local schools, uh, sports organizations, right? You've got to be that leader and you've got to develop your leadership skills. Now, the second one is focus on customer acquisition, All right? So essentially focus on sales. This is something, again, a lot of coaches don't do. Most coaches, they believe that because they're a good trainer, because they're a good coach, they're going to get customers like that, right? Selling, selling and sales is the heart of your business. If you're not generating revenue, if you're not closing customers, Right? You're not going to be able to grow and scale your business to the next level. So focusing on client acquisition is something that when I first started my business, I made it a priority. I learned sales. I went to web, I, I watched webinars. I went to seminars. I bought books on, on selling. I watched YouTube videos on selling. I got help from mentors. I joined programs. I made sales and client acquisition my number one priority when I started my business, right? Now, the third step is use social media to grow your business, right? Don't use social media just to follow what other people are doing, to get likes, to, to feel liked by your audience, right? You've got to learn the game of social media. You've got to learn how to use it to generate leads to close customers, right? So what content are you putting out? How is that content? Uh, what's the messaging behind the content? Are you driving leads to a funnel? How are you getting those customers or those leads to become customers and pay for a product or service that you're offering, right? Now, the fourth one is become a high performance salesperson. So again, focusing on, on client acquisition is a priority, but learning the game of sales. So learning how to get on a sales call with a, with a potential parent, right? Learning how to put them through a sales script, right? Learning your sales script, learning to ask the right questions. From that evaluation session, how can we then close them into becoming a long-term customer in, in, the, in the business? Now, the next one is follow-up strategies. So learning how to follow up with prospects and customers on the biggest mistake most coaches have with their business and follow-up is one of them, right? So you've got to learn how to follow up with customers via email, learn how to follow up via email, uh, use social media to follow up, use texting, uh, WhatsApp, Right, so learn different follow-up strategies that can get your prospect, someone that has shown an interest in your training program, so that you can then close them into an evaluation session and then into a long-term client. 
Now, next one is lifetime value of your customer. So something most coaches don't know about their business is they don't understand the lifetime value that their, their business adds. So they don't know what, what's the lifespan of their customers, how long their customers are staying with them, how long are they committing to the, to the program. So this is something a lot of coaches don't know about their business. So once you understand, on average, how long your customers are staying with you, then you will be able to create a program where you can turn those customers that are maybe training with you for one or two months and convert them into long-term lifetime customers where they're with you anywhere between six to 12 months of the year. Now, the next one is creating offers to attract new customers, right? So creating offers to attract new customers. So something that we help with, with the coaches that, that we work with is constantly creating offers for parents to join. So this could be join now and receive a 50% discount. It could be uh, using sibling discounts. It could be running camps, clinics, the first 10 uh, customers that sign up to an upcoming clinic will get that clinic for 75% off, right? So consistently marketing, consistently having an offer to your target audience is another way to get more leads, to get more customers and to get your business to uh, the, the next level. Now, the next one is hiring new staff. Okay, so learning how to recruit, learning how to train, and essentially learning how to hire staff that can help your business to grow and scale to the next level. A lot of coaches in this industry are a one-man business, which is fine, but the problem is they don't know how to run a one-man business. They don't know how to grow and scale to the next level. And at some stage, <laughs> you are going to need to bring someone in in order to get your business to the next level. So learning the hiring process, learning how to recruit coaches, how to train them, how to add value to them so they stick with you for a long time is, is a way of getting your business to the next level, getting your business to 100K or more per year and to grow and scale to the next level. Okay, and the next one is offering a variety <clears throat> Offering a variety of services. So having <clears throat> different services that you can offer your customers. So it might be one-on-one -on -one training. It might be two-on-one -on -one training. It might be small group training. It might be open group training. It might be online training. It might be camps and clinics. It might be a team training, right? So offering different varieties of products and services to customers will help uh, the customers that reach out to you to join your program because you're going to be having different offers for them in order for them to do business with you. If you right, and then the tenth one is learning the analytics and learning the graph in your business, right? So essentially, it's looking at the numbers at the end of the month, auditing the business to see where the business is going. Has it grown? Has it not grown? How many customers have we added? How many customers have we lost? How many sales calls have we had that month? And just analyzing from one month to the other to make sure that you're growing and scaling the business to the, the next level. And each month, your business is getting better and better so we can hit those six-figure uh, mark with your business, okay? <clears throat> If you need more help, get in contact with me, description below, number of ways you can do that. Um, work with coaches on a, on a regular basis. I speak with coaches. So if you need more help, visit the description below to, to, to get in contact with me and get my one-on-one -on -one help. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.